President Trump this afternoon capping off a wild tweet storm by reacting to newly unsealed Mueller evidence that showed that his former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, aided the Mueller investigation into potential obstruction of justice, offering evidence that members of the Trump team and Congress reached out to Flynn in a way that Mueller asserts could have affected both Flynn's willingness to cooperate and the completeness of that cooperation, potential witness tampering. Flynn even sharing a voicemail with the Mueller team of a possible attempt to interfere with the probe. Now, the president tweeted today, quote, it now seems that General Flynn was under investigation long before it was common knowledge. It would have been impossible for me to know this, but if that was the case, and with me being one of two people who would become president, why was I not told so that I could make a change? 54 words, many of them not true. Let's start with, quote, it would have been impossible for me to know this. It was quite possible for President Trump to know Flynn was under investigation, in part because Michael Flynn himself warned the Trump team about Michael Flynn. In early January in 2017, before he was appointed, Flynn told senior Trump officials that he was under investigation by the Justice Department for his lobbying work on behalf of the Turkish government, according to the New York Times. Now, it is true that the FBI did not tell Trump that Flynn was under investigation as part of the Russian election interference probe. Such a thing could have potentially compromised the investigation. But more broadly, it's worth pointing out that in addition to Flynn warning the team, there were plenty of other warnings about Flynn. Trusted Trump advisor and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has said he knew Flynn was trouble from the day he met him. Against my strong and repeated advice, Christie would later write, Donald had appointed that walking car crash to be his national security advisor. I didn't think that he was someone who would bring benefit to the president or to the administration. And I made that very clear to candidate Trump, and I made it very clear to President-elect Trump. Why was I not told so that I could make a change, the president asked today. If only someone had told him, someone like, say, President Obama, face-to-face, -face, less than 48 hours after Trump won the presidency, Obama warned Trump against hiring Flynn during their post-election meeting in the Oval Office. At least one former Obama administration official telling CNN that Obama thought Flynn was not the right person for the job, partially because, quote, Flynn's name kept popping up in the ongoing FBI investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Why didn't anyone warn you about Flynn, Mr. President? Who didn't warn you about Flynn? CNN senior White House correspondent Pamela Brown takes a look now at how the president is handling all the fallout today from the Flynn revelation. President Trump today on a Twitter tirade, complaining again about the origins of the Russia investigation and repeating unfounded claims his campaign was spied on, tweeting, quote, treason means long jail sentences, and this was treason before taking issue with new details surrounding his former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, saying, quote, it now seems General Flynn was under investigation long before was common knowledge. If that was the case, and with me being one of two people who would become president, why was I not told so that I could make a change? But that's not true. Several people, including President Obama, warned Trump about hiring Flynn when they met in the Oval Office, according to a former Obama administration official. I'm not gonna a couple of months later, Acting Attorney General Sally Yates warned White House Counsel Don McGahn that Flynn may have been compromised by the Russians. I had two in-person meetings and one phone call with the White House Counsel about Mr. Flynn. Newly unsealed court documents offer more details about Flynn's cooperation with the special counsel Robert Mueller's probe, showing that Flynn was one of a select few people in the Trump campaign who were involved in discussions about whether or not to contact WikiLeaks regarding stolen Democratic Party emails. Flynn also provided Mueller with multiple examples of people potentially attempting to influence his cooperation. A partially redacted court memo reads, quote, Either he or his attorneys received communications from persons connected to the administration or Congress that could have affected both his willingness to cooperate and the completeness of that cooperation. The defendant even provided a voicemail recording of one such communication. The Mueller report published that voicemail from the president's personal attorney to Flynn's attorney. If there's information that implicates the president, then we've got a national security issue. So, you know, we need some kind of heads up.
And despite having the Flynn voicemail and other evidence provided by Flynn, Mueller never prosecuted any members of Trump's team, members of Congress or congressional staffers for possibly obstructing the investigation by trying to influence Flynn. Uh, Jake, it is likely that lawmakers would want to ask Robert Mueller this during uh, potential testimony. We know the negotiations have been going on, but a source saying today that it's not likely to happen before June.